being able to see the work on a computer screen is not the same as being able to see the physical work itself. We do this thing called five minute silent sketch and every kid has a sketchbook and they come in quietly, they take whatever materials I leave out for them and they have a prompt of some kind. Being in Chelsea is like, as an artist and as an art educator, is like a dream come true. We can walk out of the room and we do very often go look at an artist's work or just wander around and try to find inspiration. Every grade, every sort of uh, class has a theme, a large theme that they're exploring and we do connect it to the world course uh, a lot of the time. And so for fifth grade, it's um, the self, uh, who am I? Uh, where am I in the world? It's about identity. And so every project we've done this year has sort of asked that question, like what is a self-portrait? What could a self-portrait be like? Um, how have artists throughout history and now um, embarked on that idea of trying to represent who they are through the work that they make? And so the final project is uh, using their iPads to make a stop motion animation. Claymation has become a big part of it because um, you know, they're really interested in the tactile, like building things. So I'm sort of here as a facilitator in a way. I'm posing a question to them, like, you know, whatever the question the, from the project is that we're working on, but um, I don't answer it. There is no, everybody has their own answer, and I want them to figure out how they can solve their own problems with the materials and the the thoughts that they're trying to convey visually. I want them to be able to know how this studio functions. I want them to sort of transform themselves into an artist because a lot of times during their day it's regimented or there might be like a right or wrong answer. Um, but in here, you know, it's sort of like anything goes.